everyone. Hope you're all doing well as always. First, I want to apologize for the lack of videos this week as I did on Instagram. Um, it was just been a crazy couple of days. I know I've been promising you that I was going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, but I did warn you it wouldn't hold sometimes this week is that example. Um, but I always want to make sure my videos are of really good quality. So I'm never going to just post something for the sake of posting it. Um, so there wasn't any time for me to film something in a way that I'd be proud of it or a way that would be helpful to all of you. So I just didn't post anything. Um, it's not going to be, oh, it's Monday, let me post a video. So that's why there haven't been any. So I appreciate your patience and your support uh, through this. But again, I want these videos to be useful for all of you. Um, so that's why I really want to take the time on them. So today is what's in my dance bag. Uh, a lot of people wanted me to do this. It might surprise all of you that I don't actually have a ton of things in my dance bag. Um, I learned very early on as a professional that I packed way too much, hurt my back because it was so heavy, um, and so I just kind of keep the things I will always use because I never used everything I put in my dad's bag. So I know exactly what I need, I use everything, um, and it just works for me. So let me show you what I have. The bag I'm currently using is from Stella and Dot. I love this bag. Um, it has, it's sort of this gold sort of kind of shimmer to it. Um, it has the brown leather handles, and on the inside is red with the sort of diamond pattern. Um, it has a zip on one side, big zipper pouch, and on the other side it has just the little uh, smaller pouches. Um, I absolutely love this bag. It's the perfect size, holds everything. I thought about changing to a more summery one since it is summer, but I just can't bring myself to do it yet. So uh, that's why I'm currently using this one. So first and foremost, I have my point shoes. Now, as I mentioned on Instagram, I am trying new brands because I am not, the freeds are not working for me anymore. It's not a freed thing. It is a foot thing for me. Um, I'm dancing in the completely wrong size and I'm getting a lot of blisters from them. So I decided to just completely change and try new things. So this is, these are the Block European Balance. I love these shoes. I'm in love with these shoes. I think this might be my new shoe. Um, so I'll, I'll keep you updated on all of that. Uh, so this is the pair I'm currently wearing. As you can see, it's got some, some more wear on it. Um, but I also, so I keep that pair and I also have a new pair in my bag. I like keeping more than one pair of point shoes in my bag um, because I like to have different sort of hardnesses to them or if a brand new pair in case this one is wacky or something. Um, I always have at least two pairs of point shoes with me. And the new ones I always keep in their plastic bags um, for a multitude of reasons. If I were to spill something or the moisture and heat in the air right now, especially in the summer, breaks down the glue. So if you keep them in these bags and keep them airtight, it, they last longer. I have figured that out. So I do like keeping them in the plastic bags. The next thing I have are the ballet shoes. Um, I also wear block ballet shoes. I've been wearing block ballet shoes forever. Um, these are the block pro lights. As you can see, they have gotten some wear. Um, but I haven't actually been wearing ballet shoes recently because I'm very into doing bar in socks. Um, so I now always have a pair of socks with me, whether they're colored socks, white socks, uh, you know, really warm socks in the winter, it doesn't matter. I really like doing bar in socks. I feel like I really use my feet more and I can just sort of roll through better and they, they warm up faster rather than being in the ballet shoe. Um, everybody has a different opinion on this. If you're a student, you probably obviously won't be able to wear socks for bar, but if you are at home um, and want to do a bar by yourself, do it in your socks. See, see what you think. Um, but I've just really been into it, so I always have a pair with me. The next thing are my bobby pins. Now, when I was a student, I was one of those kids who did their hair at home and it took like an hour and I slipped it back and it was perfect and I had the clip and the whole thing. Now, as a professional, I do it while I'm warming up before class. I just stick it up while I'm stretching. Um, so I always have my bobby pins with me. Variety of styles of bobby pins. And I also keep an extra um, hair tie in here as well in case I forget one. Uh, so this is my little bobby pin bag. Um, I also keep headbands with me, a couple of little headbands. Um, with my thyroid uh, disease that I had, I lost about half of my hair, and uh, which was not very fun, but 
the thing about it now is that it, it is growing back, but there are all these little ends that won't fit in ponytails. Um, all this this business, which I'm glad I have now, but I don't want to ever like slick it back with hairspray because I'm trying to preserve it. So I wear headbands to just keep everything back without having to gel it down. Um, unless I'm on stage, obviously. But so I do keep a couple of headbands in my bag. I also have a little bag, as you can see, I like keeping things in little bags in my bag, um, of toe pads. This, this is my little uh, pouch of toe pads. As I told you all in the leotard organization video, I wear the Pillows for Point Lamb's Wool. It's basically a toe pad made out of lamb's wool. Um, very, very thin. I can really feel my shoes with these. I love these. Um, I sort of have backed it down. I used to wear those really thick dark blue ones. I can't even remember what they're called, the dark, dark blue. And then I did sort of the gel ones from Bunheads and now I'm in the lamb's wall. Um, so I really, really like these. Um, and I have several, several pairs for uh, cleanliness purposes I tend to rotate. Um, so I keep them all in this little pouch. Then I have my two uh, exercise little balls. They're not really exercise, they're more massage, but I have the tennis ball. This is actually a breast cancer one. I got at Target a while back, that's why it's pink. Um, and then the little football that I showed you all in the feet and strengthening point work video. That was the wrong title, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, this ball, I use calves, hips. I basically can't live without it. Uh, great, great for, for getting the knots out. Um, and then obviously this one. I think I told you all I got it at a pet store. It used to have polka dots on it, but as you can see, it has been well worn. So there are no more polka dots. <laughs> um, next I have my Next Care tape. As I mentioned in the Leotard organization video, I love this tape. As you can see, I'm almost out of this roll, <laughs> um, but it also stays in my dance bag. Then I have my TheraBand. I've mentioned these to you before. I have a variety of colors, um, and I sort of rotate them as necessary. Right now I'm into the gray because it is stronger. Um, the blue, I also have blue and red and I believe green, uh, but right now I do have the gray. Um, I also have this little exercise band. This is a much tighter one and it's basically uh, just all connected in this loop. A beloved teacher of mine, Gary L. Whittle, uh, gave this to me um, and I use it to work on tondus and things, or releves, I put it around my ankles and I use it uh, for tondus and just to strengthen my legs. I will be using this in some exercise videos coming up. Be watching for this band. Um, and then lastly, I'm sorry, not lastly, not lastly, um, I have my jet glue. Now, if you use jet glue, double bag it. I once didn't double bag it and it ruined my entire dance bag. All the shoes, all the exercise equipment, everything. So make sure you double bag your jet glue. This, this is impossible to get out. It will ruin everything, as I said. Uh, so I do have it, but I keep it in this. I sometimes even keep it in another pouch. Just depends. Um, in its own little entity. <laughs> but I do use this quite a lot. Now, lastly, sorry, I have some CDs. Now, I've burned these CDs. Um, some are two are variations. I, right now, as I'm getting back in shape, I like to run variations occasionally. Um, and so I burned these two to have them all in one place so I don't have to bring 15 CDs with me. Uh, so basically, it's every variation in the world. I have, you know, Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, everything on, on these two CDs, and a couple of other ballets that I've done, like Flower Festival. Um, so I can just rehearse them when I can, um, and I always have them with me. The other CD is Ballet Class CD. Now, I will be doing some bars, as I mentioned. Um, in a previous video, um, but the thing about it is that I'm very excited to tell you all I play my own ballet class music. I've been playing the piano since I was in the third grade, and I was doing some guest teaching one day and got very fed up with my ballet class CDs, so I decided to record my own, um, and it's been very, very popular. A lot of the students that I teach love it, so I'm thrilled with that. So anytime I do a bar video, I will be using my own music. Um, and they're not my own compositions, they are my own arrangements, but they're songs you all know. I mean, it's like Disney and Broadway and ballet music and classical music, um, but they, all my, they are my own arrangements. So um, I, do, I do have a CD of my own ballet music and I will be using it again when I do bars. Uh, so I, I'm very happy to share that with all of you. So that's it. That's my entire dance bag. Not a lot of things. As I said, I like to keep it to a minimum. 
Um, and I hope this helped you out a little bit. But now there's one thing I want to talk to all of you about. Um, this is something that's been requested and I'm very... I thought about it a lot and I decided to do it. And that is to have you all write in questions to me and me to answer them once a month in a video. Just do like a tea and talks or Q and A with Katie. I can't decide what the title is going to be yet, but it will be one of those. Um, where you all just write in questions and I just answer them, every single one. If you hear dogs in the background, you're gonna meet them in just a second. Uh, but that's who's barking, my dogs. You'll meet them in about 30 seconds. Um, but I'm gonna do that where you write in questions to me and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, feel free to write in anything. There is no, uh, you know, limit here. I will pick the ones, there's obviously, if I get some not appropriate ones, I won't answer them, but I will try and get to, get to all of them. I might not get to all of them in one video, but as I've told you all before, I write everything down and I will have them. So leave me a comment or a question in, in the comments below. Um, because I'm going to start doing those Q&A videos. So I, I hope that's very helpful to you. Again, because this is about you. I love sharing. I love helping you all. That's why I started this channel. Um, and so to answer your questions is just a, a pleasure. So please let me know if you, if you have any questions. You can message me if you don't want them to leave them in the comments below. Message me on Facebook, Twitter, anything. Um, and I'm going to start writing them down. So I love you all, and I'll see you next time. So here they are. Here are my puppies. This is Duchess. We got her a few days after William and Kate were married, so that's why her name is Duchess. And this is Carson. He is named after the butler on Downton Abbey because he loves to run to the door anytime anyone's there. So that's where he got his name. Uh, they are just precious. They are comic relief at its finest. Um, and again, if you hear a lot of barking, that's, uh, that's who it is. Come here, Duchess. Come here. Come here. Do you want to be in the video? No. Nope. Say, I am Miss Pris, and I am on my own schedule. Yeah, that's, <laughs> see, but he, Carson is, Carson will, will be in any video he has, he's asked to be in, and he's just, just precious. So, if you hear barking, it's the two of them. Oh, Duchess is going to bring us her Minnie Mouse. What you got there, Duchess? Huh? Duchess, what have you got? What have you got? Yeah. Can you say hi? Nope. Can't be bothered. So anyway, I just wanted to introduce all of you to these little bits, my little forest friends, as I call them, and uh, or as their affectionate names are, uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Appropriate, but uh, you're cute anyway. Yes, you are. You're cute anyway. So uh, there they are, and I will see you all, hopefully, in another video tomorrow.